Hi friends, welcome to this video. I'm Eva and in this video I'm going to talk about the fruitarian diet and it's absolutely very interesting. So first of all, what is a fruitarian diet? I think it's important to understand that there are different definitions about a fruit-based or a fruitarian diet. For me, a fruitarian diet is basically a diet that consists of the majority of the calories come from fruit. Then you also have uh, some uh, leafy greens, for example, spinach or salad, and also sometimes raw vegetables such as carrots or such as uh, broccoli, etc., but in very small quantities. Also, nuts and seeds, very, very small quantities, um, because the majority of your calories should come from fruit. So, this is my definition of a fruitarian lifestyle, and I absolutely love this lifestyle. And I'm practicing this lifestyle for like three and a half years, not 100%, because I'm I, in the beginning I was still learning, and of course, like social situations, sometimes it happens that I eat cooked food, but definitely for the majority of the three and a half years, I was staying raw vegan, eat lots of raw vegan food and I love it so, so, so much. So the first question is, did you experience any changes in your body or in your mindset when switching over to this fruitarian diet? Um, yes. <laughs> so first of all, I feel a lot more um, energized. I feel so much more amazing than I did before. It's easier for me to have a good to have a good body weight, so it's hard to eat this, this diet, this, this lifestyle and gain a lot of weight because when you eat fruit, it's it, there's a whole package. So you have, when you eat fruit, you have water, you have fiber, you have um, vitamins, nutrients, minerals, good sugar and this is like perfect for your body. So your body is like, okay, you know, when you eat uh, papaya and you're, you your, your body naturally gives you the sign, okay, that, that's enough papaya, I don't need to eat anymore. And this is perfect on this lifestyle. So you, it's hard to overeat and it's hard to um, gain weight and or get, gain too much weight. And this is amazing. So this is just one benefit. I've made a whole video with all of the benefits that I've experienced, but for sure um, the, that, you ha that you have a lot of energy, that you have amazing like an amazing body and that you also mentally you i became a lot more calm i became a lot more happy like a lot of my friends or people that i meet say oh you know you're naturally such a positive person and i'm like no naturally um yes because i i, I take care of my health i eat this fruitarian diet and also i do meditation so but definitely like what you eat influences so much how you feel, for sure. Next question was, are there moments where you crave animal products or cooked food? So animal products, not at all, because I'm vegan for over five and a half years now. And for me, honestly, the longer I'm vegan, the longer I'm vegetarian, vegetarian for nine years, almost the longer I practice um, not eating animal products, the more I find them disgusting. So for example, when I go in the supermarket and I see, you know, a lot of fruit and vegetables, I'm like, yeah, you know, that looks pretty. And then there's the meat section with all of this raw meat. I'm just like, this is so disgusting. This is basically just a dead animal in the, in the supermarket. Like this is just a corpse, dead animal. It's not food. It's so disgusting. And it's like, and also one time I went to this, I thought it was, it, I thought it was a raw vegan fruit based festival, but it was actually a carnivore festival. So I went there and it, it like, it completely shocked me. And this is why I will never my whole life eat animal products again. And why I think they're so disgusting because like this was such a shock talking with those people, with those people who have no energy like this, I don't know, man, like it was like, no. So I, I never crave animal products because I know the suffering behind it um, and I get reminded of the suffering behind it. But sometimes I crave cooked food, for example, um, chickpeas, but not very often, especially um, because now I'm in um, Las Palmas, Gran Canaria, and the temperature is really nice. So I don't really crave cooked food so much. Next question is, would you raise your children the way you eat? Um, or would you feed them different food? I think this question is like, 
um, a question that a lot of people ask and they want you to say uh, no you know I will never feed my ch children the way that I eat because for children they need meat and stuff I don't agree at all I think meat and animal products is insanely unhealthy and I think you should never give children um, animal products you can give me the hate in the comment section but this is just what I stand for I would personally give my children um, as many fruit and vegetables as they like and naturally you will realize that children love fruit because people humans are frugivores so it's very obvious that children also like watermelon peaches strawberries bananas dates everything and you can have so many delicious recipes that you can also do with children and i obviously would try my best to feed my children vegan because I obviously believe and I know from my research that I did over the last decade basically that animal products are unhealthy so I would never give them to my children and I don't understand why some some I don't know some parents they themselves eat so healthy and like but but they give their children McDonald food and I, I don't understand this because I want the best if I want children if i have children i want the best for my children so i want to give them a good like delicious food and of course like it's um sometimes really stressful if you have a job and everything but i just would do my best and you can never i mean you can never control if your children go out um, and eat something non-vegan but this is not what what like i don't want to want to force them i just want to give them my morals, share with them why I'm vegan, all of the ethics, why it's ethical not to eat meat, why it's um, good for the planet not to eat meat and why it's beneficial to eat a lot of fruit. This is what I have in my house. So I would really love for my house to be vegan and obviously also fruit based with a lot of fruit and vegetables. But what they do, especially when they grow up in, and become individ like individual adults, is um, like it's, it's what they can do but I really think giving your children a good foundation a healthy foundation is incredible valuable because then very often people go back to what they were raised on so I really want to give my children a good foundation with a vegan fruit-based lifestyle for sure next question um, how do you do it in restaurants and which restaurants do you go to? This is obviously like a tricky question because I personally don't like restaurants so much because when you order a salad, usually you pay so much and you get this tiny salad with so much olive oil and so much salt and like you're just like, dude, like when I go to a restaurant, it's usually just because I, just because for the person, um, but I personally don't like restaurants. This is just something that you have to accept when you go fruit based at restaurants usually are not the same experience except for you going to a raw vegan restaurant then you might have a different experience. Um, so when I go to a restaurant I usually and the people are not raw vegan which is usually the case then I try to go to a restaurant which has um, a buffet with salad. Um, so that I can make myself a huge salad or I check the menu before and just say okay you know is, the, is are there raw vegan options and if there's really not a raw vegan options then I try to go for the healthiest vegan option for example um, a, a cooked uh, soup or I don't know sometimes potatoes but I, like I don't feel good after it so I always try to get the salad instead um, the next question um, it's really really interesting and that's do you get harassed or do you get mean comments for the way you eat um, definitely because when you eat different than people and you feel amazing um, while for example not eating animal products it basically means that um, that when other people eat animal products that there is another way so for example when uh, when, a, when a friend eats animal products and he says, oh, you know, it, well, you need them for your health. And then there's, you, then there's another person who doesn't eat any animal products and they're thriving. You know, it means that there's another way. And this is sometimes very hard for people to understand and to realize and to accept. So, yeah, I get mean comments sometimes, but actually, like, it's, it's, it does not... 
like what other people say it does not have to affect you you know like for me i try not to take things personally and if a friend accepts or if a person accepts me or the way that i eat or not it's it's the problem of the other person but it does not affect me like how i eat how i am how i dress what i do is is me and if other people accept it or not this is their problem but it does not have to accept like it does not have to affect me so really important don't take like there's a great book from um uh, don miguel Ruz. it's a great book about and there's one concept and this is never take things personally because it's very often just something that other people have to figure out on their own just live the way you want to live without hurting other people make the choices that are best for you and that's it and that's how i i want to live my life i don't i want to live my life for me what's best for me and i don't want to live it for other people and um, the next question is um also very important um would you recommend this fruity lifestyle or the fruitarian diet for other people yes 100 percent. i mean my my youtube channel is about this topic um, and i've made so many videos before where i say the amazing benefits or where you talk about these amazing benefits of this lifestyle so i can recommend it for sure also i believe that humans are forgivers and it's so obvious i mean our hands our teeth our eyes our whole digestive tract is um like is is for eating a lot of fruit you know it's we are frugivores humans are frugivores and i think it's kind of insanity that that humans are the only species that, that cannot figure out their human specific or their species specific, specific diet i mean this is insanity if you look at other of uh, any other animal out there like fish bird whatever all of them can figure out what is the perfect food for them just we humans cannot figure it out because we buy so much junk food pa packaged food so much bad stuff that that is just so bad for our body and that is so bad for the the environment and it's it's crazy so yeah i i really think and i think it's very 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 obvious that humans are frugivores so obvious so of of course I can recommend the the human specific diet, which is the frugivore diet, which is the fruit based raw vegan diet, to everyone. And of course, like I know, not everyone is going to do it because obviously, um, you need in our, because obviously our society is not fruit based. So if you want to do this fruit based lifestyle or eat a lot more fruit and stay vegan, you need discipline. You need to do, do a lot of research. You need to um you know believe in yourself you have you have to have thick skin and not care so much what other people think about you so yeah but i i, I don't think everyone can do it because not everyone has the di has the discipline but i think everyone should do it because it's just amazing and you will realize all of these benefits once you try it for more than one day and once you also do some research and do it right eat enough calories because i really think that and it, it and it really annoys me so much people um trying this this amazing lifestyle for one day not eating enough eating maybe two oranges and two bananas in one day and then of course they feel tired because they have not eaten enough and then they say oh you know it does not work and i make a video about it and then other people without having ever tried it they just watch this video and say yeah you know this is true but they have never tried it how can you say that something does not work if you have never tried it you know it makes no sense first experience it first try it out for at least a week or a month and then you can say yes or no but you will realize if you do it the right way that you have a lot more energy that you feel so much better and that you you thrive and this is the way that is meant to be for humans when they eat their species specific diet so yeah this is so obviously i'm very passionate about it because sometimes society really drives me crazy i mean how we live it's not sustainable it's so bad for the environment it's like ah so as you can see i'm very passionate about it and if you want to learn more about a fruit-based lifestyle then definitely check out the webinar that i that i've created so i've created an amazing webinar with a lot of great information that you can check out 
and it's in a link in the info box below. So if you have any questions, if you want to learn more, go to this webinar because I explain everything in detail. And, you know, I really wish that I had this webinar because um, over the past years, I spent so much time reading countless books and watching so many YouTube videos and other videos, documentaries about this lifestyle. And I really wish that I had this um, webinar when I started. So definitely, if you're interested in check out the webinar and I hope to see you soon. If you liked this video, then please give it a like. And if you're also on the fruitarian diet or fruit-based diet or raw vegan diet and if you've just experienced it and experienced the benefits, then please write them in the comment section because I really want people to understand how amazing this lifestyle is. I really have, hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Much love and see you soon.